So a question I get a ton from students and other players is trying to understand what balls to let bounce and which ones to take out of the air, especially when playing at the kitchen line. So first I wanna talk through why you wanna take certain balls out of the air, and then I'm gonna show you guys a drill to help you learn and kind of decide, okay, these are the balls I take out of the air versus these are the ones that I let bounce. So one of the biggest mistakes I see for a lot of lower level players or people just starting out is they'll often back themselves off the kitchen line and let the ball bounce. And I think a lot of that is because they're wanting to give themselves more time to react. The problem with this is that this kitchen line is the absolute best place to play on the whole pickleball court. Like I always say, this is the best real estate on the court. You want to get here because points are won and lost primarily at the kitchen line. So when you're constantly backing up off that line to give yourself more time, what you're doing is you're giving away the best real estate in the house. So it's really important to hug this line and not let your opponents back you up off of it because again, this is where you wanna play. So the first thing I wanna talk through is contact point. Now your contact point is really just when the paddle hits the ball. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see from lower level players or um, people beginning to play is they'll let the contact point be at their side of their body or behind their body. Now, the danger with that is oftentimes if you're hitting a ball at the side of your body or behind your body, the only direction that your paddle has to go is up. Now again, if you hit the ball straight up, guess what, you're hitting a pop-up. Now, a great way to avoid this and also a great way to understand which balls to take out of the air is making sure first that your contact point is always in front of your body. So the best way to really do this is to make sure that you are getting back to your ready position in between shots. So that means having your paddle out in front, making sure that your arms are away from your body, that they're loose, and again, this is gonna help you ensure that you are contacting that ball in front of your body and able to go upwards and forwards rather than just up. Again, that's gonna help you keep from hitting a pop-up. So the second thing I want you guys to understand is I see a lot of beginners hitting balls from their shoelaces. If you're contacting that ball from your shoelace, the only direction that your paddle has to go, again, is up. Because if I go forward, I'm going in the net. So this is another mistake I see a lot of beginners do. Again, biggest thing is making sure your paddle's out in front, that you're not hitting from your shoelaces, and that every time you hit a dink or a shot that your follow through is right back out in front and not down at your side. So a great way to practice this is the drill that I like to call protect the castle. Basically, you can use a cone or I've seen people use water bottles or um, even other pickleballs. And basically what they'll do is they'll set up um, them and then their partner right across from each other at the kitchen line. You're gonna set up your cone right above where your paddle is. You each are really going back and forth trying to aim for each other's castle and the whole goal is to protect your castle and hit the other person. So I'm gonna show you guys how this goes. All right, so I have me, I have my castle, and I have my partner, and my partner has her castle. So biggest thing is I'm trying to aim for her dot and she's trying to aim for mine. My biggest concern is I do not want her ball to hit my castle. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So again, I'm really trying to hit her. Oh! So it's crazy because when you do this drill, you start to realize how many balls you can actually hit out of the air. And again, biggest thing is you want to end that follow through so your paddle's right above that cone or that dot. Ooh, that was scary. It was close. And this will get you really used to how many balls you can actually take out of the air. So if you feel like you've mastered that and you start to know, okay, these ones I let bounce, these ones I don't, now you do the same drill with Protect the Castle, but you add in some speed ups. What's great about taking balls out of the air is it actually allows you to be more aggressive since you're not moving as much, right? The more you move, the more you're off balance, the more you're off balance, 
that's when you have to hit a defensive dink. But when you are balanced and you're not moving and your feet are set, that's when you can be offensive. So now we're gonna do the same drill, but now add in some speed ups. Biggest thing when you add in speed ups is when you're bent over like this reaching, that's probably not the time to speed up because again, your chest is down and you can't really have control. But when you have your chest up and you're balanced here and you have your paddle face out in front, that's when you wanna speed up the ball. Again, I'm looking for the right ball to speed up. That was pretty good. My partner has good defense, same thing. I'm looking for a ball. Ooh, that was a good idea. I'm looking for a ball where I'm balanced. Again. Oh, there it is. There it is. Good. Boom, that's what I want. We're gonna do one more round. Again, I still wanna protect my castle. I'm looking for that high ball, there it is. Oh, I missed it, because I didn't get under it. One more. I'm looking for my high ball. There's a little one, that's what I want. Good, yeah! So biggest things that you really need to look at when you're deciding what balls to take out of the air and what balls not to is one, your contact point is in front of your body, not to the side, not behind you. Two, that you're not taking balls off your shoelaces. Instead of taking off your shoelace, cut it off um, so that it's at chest level in front of you. Three, make sure that you are bending from the legs, not your back chest forward facing towards your target and a great way to practice that is the protect the castle drill i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you follow me at all things pickleball on instagram and tiktok and i will see you guys in the next one